Welcome. Today we are going to be making your first house. So I will get out of my house first. Oh damn, creeper. Don't want I do not want the cre creepers to blow up our house. So I leave. Where did I place? So we will be making the house here. Let me just grab a shovel. Crap creepers. Get rid of this dirt. Now when you make the house, make sure you have lots of different surroundings, preferably with wood. We are going to make our house out of jungle wood and arosha wood today. Oops. We will be using different things. Tip, if you're new to Minecraft, creepers explode stuff. So we are going to build the base of your house. When you build a first house, you will have to build the base. It's better to build a house out of obsidian when you're a more experienced player. Move sheep. So let's make it about this big. And then choose the kind of wood you would like to do the base with, we're going to do it in a pattern. Like this. So this will take a lot of time to find, so that's why we're not doing it in survival today. Let's get rid of all these mobs. Hey, creeper. There we go. And um, next we go for the walls. So say you want a jungle wood first color, first row wall like this. Then we can place our jungle wood down. We're going to do the door last so we can actually get out and in and then I will turn it to survival and we'll check. So then we're going to go Arosha because that looks nice. Like this. And then we're going to go back to jungle wood as a pattern. When you're building a house, make sure you have enough room to actually fit in. Your height on Minecraft is two blocks, so make sure your house is at least three blocks to the roof. So we're going to do this. And we are going to use a rush of wood and this is looking nice the different colors then we're going to start on the roof 
and we're not going to have a flat roof on this house because whenever I build a house on Minecraft it's never fla flat roof because that got boring. So we're just going to finish the roof and then I'll show you how to make a really nice textured roof of a village house. You know when you find a village they have stair roof so say this is the front of our house here we're going to go and put our stairs but we're going then we're going to come round here and finish this up like this and add a lot of things after we've done that we can add in some wood like this but that's not finished yet Having seen a lot of different types of houses, you don't do only one lot like this, okay? Because it looks a bit weird. So we're going to go around again. This time with jungle wood. Note these stairs do turn around weirdly enough so they can create a curve in them so you can properly build your house there's many different ways to build using stairs this is probably the most productive so then we can add more wood and then we'll take a small look before we keep going Bit of a look it's starting to take shape as a bit of a village house isn't it so we're going to go back to Arosha fly around and continue with this and the taller your house gets the harder it will be to build in survival but easier in creative Gonna have a quick look. Wow, that's starting to take shape. And we will, I think this might be our last um, one. Oh, that went bus city. So then, oops, we can do this. And then by the looks of it, we'll finish using this and we have our house there we go so let's just grab some grass blocks and place them here so the next thing to do is go through and make your door I personally do not want creepers near my house so yeah so we're gonna grab some torches you don't want creeps spawning near your house so you come in obviously it's gonna be free it's gonna be really dark and freezing cold in here so we come in here and you can decide which side you like a double door so I'll personally have it here, I think it looks nice. And I can quickly grab, oh, there's the door, and make a quick double door. We come through, and we have this. So, the first thing you'd want to know, obviously, is where you want to sleep. So, we'll go with... Uh, our small 
jungle wood room, I guess. And you'd want to do the next row in a rosha and then jungle wood again. And then you can take out two blocks at a door. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside here. Save our little midget tile house here. And then the bed, which in survival will cost most of your resources of wool, taking three wool and three wooden planks. So we might have that. And then, just to be stupid, I'm going to make a flower. So let's choose a flower. My personal choice is an alum. Oh, I didn't grab that. But what you will need is a piece of glass to make a window. Preferably a clear block of glass. And we will just place a dirt block here and put an alum on, alum on it. You can, if you want, do a grass block. But it's more of an outside texture. And that can be labelled my bedroom and over here we might have the TV so to make a TV you generally need a black wool and what colour do you want our oh, sofa we want open sofas Got that And then we will put up our TV and our sofa. And then we can sit on this and enjoy our TV. It's a bit big. So we'll just grab a painting. and add what we'd like to watch which is quite hard to get sometimes say so you want that i don't know who would but you might want two paintings side by side to make the effect of a tv and you can watch tv then we're going to add the general beings of a minecraft house Going, some people like to read, so we have a bookshelf. Always have more than one furnace, so you can smelt more things at the same time. Two there. Put crafting tables. Put some chests. Some people like to have a chest in their bedroom as well to keep their special things in. So, then once you've done the general things of your house, you can add special things like paintings and windows. Depends on how you like your windows. You might like them glass pane or simple glass block. The glass, glass block. So then we're going to add oops, some paintings around the house and then a couple of torches to brighten up the place you don't want it to be dark and um, some people like cake especially like stampy and people like that so the next thing we're going to build is a table so my personal favorite for the tabletop is cyan so what we can do 
is pick a spot, you place a post like this and you put this something like that and then you can put a cake on top but we're not going to have it there because it's in the way of the doorway I would like my table no not there here so I'll place my table here I want to throw a cake on top of it, but I can't. So there. So we'll just put a cake there. And the next thing you want to do with your newly built house is something outside. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy to get all these um, animals inside a farm. But I think we might be able to spawn them in with egg, spawn eggs, because we're because we're in creative. So just going to make one small pen, just a small one here. Oops. And what should we put in here? How about pigs? spawn a couple of pigs oops and then say you want you want pigs and chickens for instance come over here and add a little chicken farm here and put some chickens inside it the best thing about chickens is they lay eggs Eggs are really hard to find in Minecraft. So we will just add on to here another pen, which is sheep. And that's very handy. One sheep should be enough. So um, the last one we have is cows. We're going to um, have to extend this. I didn't pick a very good spot for a house. And make a little cow pen. So just get rid of this sand. And put some grass down. If that creeper didn't blow up, we'd have a lot more space here. But the creeper blew up. I'm just going to build in some more land here to the river a bit. A bit more land now. Just gonna fix this. And then because cows are big animals. We want them to have a big pen, so we're going to probably have the biggest pen out of all the animals I will be spawning today, because they are big. So I'll put some cows in, and we should add another bit of sheep area here. So I will... Get rid of this and spawn some more sheep. It looks like we've got a lot of black sheep today. I might spawn another couple of chickens into here. So once you've got this, you will want uh, area to come out of your house on. Now I'm not saying you'd want this at all times, but I like mycelium, so I like to put mycelium there, and then choose a, and then we can choose some leaves. Obviously, in survival, you'll need iron for this. I like to use sometimes erosia leaves. Just place down some leaves, and we have a hedge, and we can make.
So we can do that. I like being a bit silly at sometimes with creepers. And we might need a shovel here. Got a lot of dirt. And for one thing, there's with me no uses for dirt. So it gets destroyed. So, just make sure there's not too much dirt out in the front of the house. But I do not like stone, by the way. Why am I doing it? I thought I should be doing it with a pick. Stone is used for crafting, not for looking at. There. Let me just fix this up. I don't want it. Bear dirt and sheep eat uh, things like grass. And as as you see, part of the um, pen has already kind of filled out. So I'm just going to take one more stroll through the house and then. That's it. So we have our thing like this. Well, not quite it. Some people say that they sometimes get endangered by mobs. So, what I like to do if I get endangered is have a secret room, usually near the TV when no one is suspecting it. So what I do is I dig down, usually to this here, and I dig a two block hole this big, and make sure there's some light so mobs do not spawn inside your secret room. So we do this, make sure there's no entrance to a cave. So what you can do is add your bed and a chest. The next thing I like to do is go through and have a tunnel full of diamond blocks. In case I need to gear up. But I never let it show so I cover it up with granite which is the best covering in a granite pile. So then I add a crafting table and a furnace. We can use them both. And then, because I like to read, we add one simple bookshelf just here. So we have a bookshelf. The next thing we need is a couple of torches. As I said, we don't want mobs in. And leave a signal that this is where your thing is, preferably two torches, one on each block. And to get back up, you will need ladders, which are found here, made entirely out of sticks. And are hard to put up when you're trying to get back up. This is hard, so I'm just going to fly. So once we get up, we can do this, and I add a little trap door here, and we can watch TV, and do not add a fireplace in a wooden house. So we're not doing a fireplace, but I'm just going to quickly go outside and show you what a fireplace is. So for a fireplace, you'll need netherrack glass, glint and steel. And we will... 38 minutes, it's too long. Finish. And for what we do is we place the netherrack and just oh, cover it with star, with glass and light it and then do the front with the glass and then just close it like that 
and mostly then it will be done. Um, we're going to end here. Bye!